CVA's Acura Series, Vergara Barrels for guaranteed accuracy, Nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. This segment is being sponsored by Mowing and More, proudly serving Wilson County for over 15 years. Give them a call for all of your lawn care, landscaping, and irrigation needs. All right, welcome back everyone. This week's recipe of the week is being brought to you by Courtney's Restaurant and Catering in beautiful Mount Juliet, the city between the lakes, uh, right there at 4066B North Mount Juliet Road. And Friday's catfish day. That's right. If you want to say hi, we'll probably be down there tomorrow. About, about, <laughs> we'll probably about be down noon there. 30. About 11, 11, 30. <laughs> yeah. We got to, somebody's got to take care of that fish, make sure it's good for quality you know, control. Quality control. That's what we for, tell ourselves. You know, for the masses. Yeah. <laughs> so, make sure it's good for everybody. So, yeah, I mean, we got to make sure that, you know, it's ed edible. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, Tom Courtney's not in the house. <laughs> That's right. He. he he sent a, a trusted employee. I'm gonna tell you something. And she, <laughs> and she does, was right on time, right ready on to go. Time, <laughs> got here, didn't have to do anything. She was here on time, and we weren't worried. <laughs> we weren't texting. <laughs> Where the heck are you, Tom? <laughs> so, who we got? We've well, got Miss Jamie over here, and she's. What do you have for us tonight? I have uh, sweet chili glazed chicken tenders. Stop. It. They are delicious. They, they smell. smell so yeah. Can you smell them yet? Y'all would not believe smell vision <laughs> It is awesome smell. Wow, they are so good. Now, how do you make these? Well, we make our own sweet chili glaze. And we use... Do you use the Fat Boy seasoning? The Fat Boy seasoning? No. Oh, <laughs> what is happening with Tom probably yeah. warned her that was coming. That, that's, that's in something else that oh, I make. Okay. That's okay. In, the, in our creamy chicken. And <laughs> Tom it. doesn't like me to call it creamy chicken, but that's okay. I'll call it creamy chicken anyways. We use uh, roasted red chili peppers, honey, brown sugar, uh, roasted garlic, uh, seasoned salt, and uh, there's a few secret ingredients in there, and that's no, made. We set, we, we, we set that aside. If you want it, you come to Courtney's okay. and get it. All right, all right. You set that aside. It's really fat get, boy get, season. Get, get. <laughs> We do use fat boy seasoning, but not in this. See? But uh, we get five pounds of chicken tenders, and it's in a egg wash with lemon juice, and then floured, deep fried to a golden brown. Then you take that out, you dry it off, and get any ex excess oil off of it, and then toss it in your your salad bowl with the sweet chili glaze, and it's delicious just like that. You oh, don't yeah. need you don't need any. Dipping sauce, but if you like, we recommend ranch, but you don't even need it. It's now, perfect on, just like that. The, now, on chicken tenders, the oil has to be what? 375, 400 degrees? Somewhere 350. There? 350. 325, 350. Okay, and how long does it take to cook one? Four minutes. That's not long. That ain't too no, long to wait. That's, that's not, not long. that bad. It's not so long I at all. So I have a four minute supper. Yeah, as long as you don't put that whole at 400 degrees like you're talking about, then you have a Yeah, because then you'll have it nice and cooked on the outside fry. and raw yeah. in the yeah. center. Yeah. You, you don't, don't want have flash like fry. that. You want it about 325. About 325. That's a good... See, not enough people know that you're supposed to use, you know, that kind of temperature. Yeah. Because if you turn the temperature up too high, you're going to get it dark on the outside and it'll still be yeah. raw in the middle. You're going to sear that sucker. <laughs> it's yeah. not very good. Yeah, it's no good. And we have to be careful with our fish fries, the same reason. As a Boy Scout, did you ever, did you take Boy Scouts? Oh, did yeah. you go to Boy Scouts? Uh -huh. Kelly, did you go to Boy Scouts? Long, long I know time. you had to go to Boy Scouts, yeah. Kelly. They kicked me out. They kicked you out. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. We went to Boy Scouts when I was little, and, and one of the things we had to do was cook chicken outdoors. And Billy Martin was my partner, and he cooked, and, and I got everything ready, got the fire ready. So his job was to cook. He cooked and said, here, it's done. I bit into it and blood went out both sides. I said, I don't think it's done. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get that patch. I didn't get no. I didn't you get didn't that get patch. patch. Neither did Billy either. <laughs> you didn't we have your thermometer to, with you, did yeah, you? No, right. we had to come back to next year and retake it. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we want to thank Courtney's uh, restaurant and catering out there in uh, Mount Juliet uh, for the fine recipe. And boy, does this smell good! You know, it isn't gonna make it long. After this. <laughs> so uh, I'm just telling you ahead of time, yeah. it's gone. It, it usually don't make it. It don't make it long. No, it doesn't. Uh, Kelly, we've got 
Now we've been talking about the drop shot and and, and how to rig it and how the sense the braid does help you um, with those light bites. And and I love what Joey Montelione always says. He says, "Cute, they're not picking it up with their hands." <laughs> you know, no, he they're, said, not. they're using their lips. So yeah. so you know, and he's right. If it breathes on it, and then we'll set the hook. So uh, uh, that the the braid just helps you get those light bites. And there's several times during the year when those fish will hit light, and yeah. they will they will barely make you think you got anything. Yep, that's why we use the braid and put the leader on it. One of the best fishermen on Center Hill. We know him, Chris yep. Snow. Yep. yep. Every reel, including his bait cast, it's all braid, it's all braid. with a floral leader. And guess, guess what knot he's using? The, Alberta. <coughs> Alberta knot. Yep. And I want to tell you, uh, we got an, another big throw out, out here is uh, Bubba Graves. Bubba Graves taught me how to use a top water. He throws all of his top waters, walking the dog and all that, on braid. We do too. So see, I mean, <coughs> uh, I mean so it has other uses other than just what you might think. Oh yeah, we use braid on a lot of stuff. <coughs> you'd, you'd be surprised, Alabama rig, whopper ploppers, buzz baits, we use braid a lot. Oh yeah, so don't be afraid to use it. Uh, you know, a lot of people think, well, it has no stretch and all that. Yeah, usually though, being no stretch, a lot of times you want to go to a little faster tip on your rod. You got to have give somewhere. If the right line's not given, make sure your rod has a little. But that's what I want to say too. It, even if you use a stronger line, sometimes a softer tip or, or a fast tip or whatever right. will help you. Kind of even uh, it out. It kind of evens out. So yep. it's, it's all a combination of line, hook, rod, reel. Yep. Uh, presentation being the key element to, to make them strike, but after that strike, everything else comes into play. Yeah. So we got that. Hey, we've got, thanks to K9, he's graciously given us a drop shot rig, hadn't he? That's Brandon? right. We've got, we one, got? we've got one pack of the Super Braid, one pack of the fluorocarbon. If you'll be the fifth caller, 737-7767, you'll be the lucky recipient of this and you'll be ready to run your own drop shot. That's right. So. With the Alberto knot. That, that's and the right. Use the Alberto knot. The or not. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> we got to take another that's break. Right. When we come back, we got a small calendar for you, and we're going to wrap it up with K9 Fishing. Be right back with more. Southern Woods and Waters. <laughs> 